So I ran into an issue today I wanted to go over in Excel. I have a spreadsheet here and on my first row, I wanted to add a filter, but I couldn't do it. And um, if I troubleshoot and hit one cell at a time on my top row, I see that it is available. So if I click sort and filter and go to filter and hit that, it will apply filters, but not to all of my top row, just the first three here. And then as I go on to column D and try to add the filter, it'll add for the rest of them. So they're kind of working separately and that's bizarre and strange. And if I try to take those filters off, it's grayed out. So in order to take them off, I have to do the same thing, hit sort and filter, hit filter again, and it takes off A through C and then the others separately. Why is that? Why are they working separately? Well, the issue is I have a built in table and it's hard to see it because there's not really any formatting, but there is a table and I can tell there's a table because when I have any cell between D and G selected, I have this little green tab available called table design, and that will give us all of our table formatting options. This tab is not available when I hit any cell between A and C. So there was a table built in, and for my purposes, I need to remove the table. However, if you're working in a sheet with a table, it could be there for a reason. It could be feeding into a pivot table or something else. So you don't wanna just remove tables willy nilly. Um, it really just depends on what you need to do with the information you're given and tables can be a great resource if you need to add or remove uh, columns or rows from information that's feeding to a pivot table. So I just wanted to put that out there. However, I know for a fact I can remove this table setting so that I can work with all my information together. And in order to remove the table, I need to select on a cell, any cell that has this table design tab available. So not these ones, but any of these. Hit table design and then go to convert to range. This will convert it from a table to a normal range, which is what I need to work with in this case. And now I don't see that table um, tab. And if I hit my first row, grab all of it, and I can see sort and filter is available for the entire row now and then I can filter it and work with all of the information as one. So that's how you get rid of a table. That's why everything uh, wasn't working as expected with my filters. And hopefully this helped you guys. If it did, give me a like and check out my playlist in Excel where I have a lot more tips and tricks just like this one. Thanks.